So what can you do about it? What if I told you that 80% of cancers were preventable and you had the power to prevent them? Would you be interested in knowing more? Let's talk about that. Everyone talks about motivation, but you can't stop someone doing something they're truly inspired to do. So how do you make the switch from motivation to inspiration? So economists get excited by growth curves like this. I'd love to have a bank account like this. As a doctor, as a biologist, I know what's coming next. I'm very frightened when I see curves like this. It really is quite simple. If your immune system isn't healthy, neither are you. So how do we keep your immune system at the top of its game? How do we keep you healthy? Let's talk specifics. Doctors and scientists now believe that cardiovascular disease may not just be a simple plumbing problem. What if you could catch heart disease the same way you caught a cold? Would you be interested in knowing how? So what is the function of the healthcare system? Well, it certainly isn't about promoting good health. It's focused on sickness, not wellness. It's focused on the wrong thing. Our bodies have got no way of telling us we've got too much lead in our system. Effectively, we're cavemen in suits. So how do we deal with the complex issues we're now facing? How do we affect meaningful change? Well, the reality is quite different. Of the 80,000 man-made chemicals in use today, we have reliable safety data for less than one in 10 of them. We don't even know we're at risk because the science hasn't been done. So which ones should you take? Which ones are good for us? Are there any that are potentially harmful? Do I need to take them at all? All these are valid questions, and they all need answers.